Welcome to Sage Audio. Today let's cover the top 11 vocal delay tips, but first, if you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us to receive a free mastered sample of it with the link in the description. Avoid high feedback on short delay. For this video, the chapters are in no particular order. Now for most delay plugins, if you combine short delay with a high level of feedback, you get a really unpleasant, somewhat metallic sound. Now this can be interesting for lo-fi projects, but for the most part, I'd recommend avoiding this combination when you're delaying your vocals. Let's take a listen to it to better understand why it should be avoided. I'm trying to grow up as fast as I can. You already told me you needed a real man. I'm trying to grow up as fast as I can. You already told me you needed a real man. Use delay ducking for clarity. When delaying a vocal, it's really helpful if the delay plugin includes ducking for the delay portion of the signal. This basically means that the start of the delay will be compressed. Using the Dual Delay X, I'll enable ducking to reduce the delay's amplitude at the start of each passage. This way the dry vocal cuts through and the delay follows it, making the vocal clearer. Let's take a listen. I'm trying to grow up as fast as I can. You already told me you needed a real man, yeah. I'm trying to grow up as fast as I can. You already told me you needed a real man, yeah. If you're enjoying the video, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It's free and it helps us bring you more videos. Try emulation for a classic sound. Although this might seem obvious, it's best to use emulation when you're trying to create a vintage delay sound. Although you could combine effects to recreate it, good plugins like this one use a lot of behind the scenes program dependent modulation to create a convincing sound. For example, Delay Tape 201, Arturia's emulation of the Roland Space Echo 201, introduces both frequency and phase modulation that consistently changes, similar to the hardware. So let's take a listen and try to keep in mind how many variables are being used to create a realistic emulation. I'm trying to grow up as fast as I can. You already told me you needed a real man, yeah. I'm trying to grow up as fast as I can. You already told me you needed a real man, yeah. Create dynamic control before delay. Before you begin using temporal effects like reverb and delay, I definitely recommend that you control the vocal's dynamics. I'll use PSPs and Fenestrip to introduce some preamp emulation, compression, and then saturation before routing the vocal to a delay. This way the delay has a dynamically consistent input. Let's take a listen first with the delay on and the Infinistrip off, then with both plugins enabled. I'm trying to grow up as fast as I can. You already told me you needed a real man, yeah. I'm trying to grow up as fast as I can. You already told me you needed a real man, yeah. Amplify Mel Curve Delay Frequencies Mel frequencies are perceived to be equal distance apart or equal pitch from one another due to how our ears prioritize certain frequencies over others. With the plugin Equivocate inserted after our delay, we can amplify our delayed vocal in a way that's really effective for most listeners. That said, I'll use it to amplify the fundamental, some around 2kHz to add presence, and some highs for air. Since this EQ is inserted after the delay, it's going to affect our delay taps, making both the vocal and the delay sound more musical. Let's take a listen. I'm trying to grow up as fast as I can. You already told me you needed a real man, yeah. I'm trying to grow up as fast as I can. You already told me you needed a real man, yeah. Use simple stereo delay. If you're using stock plugins, here's a simple but really effective setup for vocal delay. With a stereo delay plugin, choose the mono to stereo option and delay the left channel by 1 16th and the right channel by a dotted 16th. Then blend in the effect. Creating this slight variation between the left and right channels will make the vocal more complex and for one reason or another has a really pleasant sound. You could also try a 1 8th and dotted 8th delay or a 32nd and dotted 32nd delay. Just be sure to keep the feedback a little lower for quicker delay times. Let's take a listen. I'm trying to grow up as fast as I can. You already told me you needed a real man, yeah. I'm trying to grow up as fast as I can. You already told me you needed a real man, yeah. Widen BGVs with sample delay. Sample delay is one of my favorite plugins to use. It's super simple and only requires one parameter change to make it work. Like last chapter, use a mono to stereo plugin, then delay one of the channels by a few milliseconds to achieve the effect. 
Phase cancellation between the left and right signals will widen the vocals significantly, which is great for any BGVs that you want to occupy a different space than the lead vocal. Let's use it on the same vocal that we've been demoing to understand the effect. I'm trying to grow up as fast as I can. You already told me you needed a real man, yeah. I'm trying to grow up as fast as I can. You already told me you needed a real man, yeah. If you're enjoying the channel, use the search box to watch more of our videos. Utilize this free delay plugin. If you want complex delay but you prefer not to buy a delay plugin, I'd really recommend the Valhalla Supermassive, a free reverb, delay, and chorusing plugin that lets you introduce incredibly impressive and intricate temporal processing. Start with a vocal delay preset and then adjust the settings from there. Let's take a listen to two presets and notice how the plugin works really well for delaying vocals. I'm trying to grow up. As fast as I can, you already told me you needed a real man. Yeah. I'm trying to grow up as fast as I can. You already told me you needed a real man. Yeah. Create experimental delay with Chow Matrix. If you create experimental music and simple delay plugins won't work for what you're trying to do, I'd recommend another free delay plugin, the Chow Matrix. With it, you can create multiple delay tap branches that can be modulated and made incredibly complex by holding shift and clicking. The Insanity slider introduces randomized modulation to these branches that affects the stereo placement, delay timing, pitch, and more. Let's take a listen and keep in mind that the sound is going to be more unorthodox than some of the other examples. Use Latch Automation on Delay One cool sound that you can create with delay is modulating the delay time at specific points in the song. To do this, I like to use the Latch function in my DAW and then play back the section of the song where I'd like the modulation before writing that data in by altering the delay parameter. This way the change is more like a performance and you can go over the section until you get it the way that you want. Let's take a listen to the effect. I'm trying to grow up as fast as I can You already told me you needed a real man, yeah I'm trying to grow up as fast as I can You already told me you needed a real man, yeah Recreate ducking with Parallel Send in chapter 2 of this video, I showed how ducking can be used to create more intelligible vocal delay. But if the delay plugin that you use or prefer doesn't have ducking, here's what you can do. Set up a send and on an aux track, insert your delay. Then insert a compressor and sidechain the dry vocal. This way, whenever the vocal is sung, the delay will be compressed, similar to the ducking that we used earlier. Let's take a listen. I'm trying to grow up as fast as I can. You already told me you needed a real man, yeah. I'm trying to grow up as fast as I can. You already told me you needed a real man, yeah. If you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us to receive a free mastered sample of it with the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching.